Hello and welcome to episode 9 of How to Beat Digital Distraction and Write More. Uh, my name is Andy Tattersall and I'm an information specialist at the School of Health and Related Research uh, based at the University of Sheffield. So in this short series of very short podcasts, I want you to help you um, be more productive and just do better, more productive writing and get things done. So in this episode, I want you to, we're going to look at the issue of being more strategic with your writing and uh, what can be done to be more of a productive writer. So as I mentioned in a previous podcast, you could always tackle your writing tasks first thing in the morning and do something that can be referred to as eating a frog in that you deal with a task that you're not looking forward to before any other thing, such as checking your email. If the morning doesn't work for you, then remember writing um, can be something that uh, you can put time aside in your diary to go somewhere else and, and do nothing but just write. So you can decide, well, between the hours of two and four this afternoon, I'm going to this space and I'm going to write. I'm going to be strategic and I'm going to do that every day this week. Remember that writing does not have to be a solitary pursuit. So if it helps you, you can pair it with a fellow writer, an academic, student, and set yourself targets to achieve in a writing session. You can even go that bit further by forming your own writing support group and meet up every week for a couple of hours to write. All it needs is someone to find a suitable location like a library or a seminar room or a space and set start and finish times, set house rules and assure, ensure that everybody abides to them. Uh, the Pomodoro technique is a great way to help you uh, be strategic with your writing and it works on the idea of setting periods of time with enforced breaks. So for example, you could write for 25 minutes and have a five minute break and repeat this four times before taking a longer break to have lunch. The breaks are important as you might feel like you're in the flow and that um, at some point that might cease. But if you, the enforced breaks will actually give you a little bit of time to reflect and relax before getting back onto the writing task. If you just keep writing and writing and writing, eventually it's going to burn out. So if you write, take a break, write, take a break, it maintains a stronger consistency. If you're writing as part of a group, then it's essential that one of you ensures the rest take uh, take a break in the group. The Pomodoro ch chunks can be longer or shorter than 25 minutes, but I suggest 25 minutes are very much the optimum setting. And I guarantee that if you do complete seven or eight uh, Pomodoro successfully, you'll be surprised by how much you've written in that period of time. If you're really keen, you can set up a small group of fellow writers and set yourself um, at something called a writing boot camp. This is something that I run regularly in my department. And this is an all day writing event where you set yourself targets. You block out your commitments and you block out email and you find a nice space to go and write. You can use the Pomodoro technique um, to support your writing strategy and make the whole day um, very, very kind of productive. And it is a lot scarier, a lot less scarier, sorry, than it sounds. And um, everyone who attends my sessions do really enjoy it. And they do take a, a lot away from it. They get a lot of written text down, a lot of data crunching, a lot of editing that might not have been done uh, or taken longer in different settings. Finally, what you can try and do is be more strategic to uh, with your writing is always carry a notebook. And that might be a paper or an electronic one, but think about times when you may have had an idea or solution to a problem in addition to the times when someone has imparted some useful knowledge to you. So of course you can take notes in your smartphone, but also note taking tools like Evernote can be really useful, whilst a pen and notepad will always be an effective way to capture down such information. It's about creating those small habit changing processes that in time will start to make you a more effective writer. So hopefully you found that useful and you can find more about these podcasts on the links uh, to the podcast that you're listening to now and say, Good luck with your writing and uh, uh, keep listening to the podcast.